everyone. Welcome to Storytime. My name is Miss Rochelle and I teach first grade at Lexington Elementary. I'm so happy you've joined me today. I'm going to read Pete the Cat and the Cool Cat Boogie. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Let's look at the cover art and see if we can find any clues. What do you see? You saw a disco ball. What do you see a disco ball normally? A party? The skating rink, yes, I've seen it at the skating rink. Okay, let's look and see what they're doing. The characters look like they're moving. I think you're right, I think boogie must mean to dance. Let's see who wrote and illustrated this story. Kimberly and James Dean. They are a husband-wife team who left their regular jobs in the real world to create awesome books for you and I to enjoy. Let's begin. Pete the Cat was learning a new dance, the Cool Cat Boogie. Then Grumpy Toad came along. I really dig that song, but Pete, you dance all wrong. Pete did not know what to say. He just turned and walked away. Pete couldn't sleep at all that night. What if Grumpy Toad was right? What if my moves are bad? The thought of not dancing made Pete feel very sad. Dancing is like magic. When I hear a groovy beat, I'm full of happy in my feet. I won't give up. I love to dance. Let me give it just one more chance. I like that attitude. Pete was practicing the Cool Cat Boogie again when he saw Squirrel. Hey Squirrel, how do you dance? How do you groove? Can you teach me how to move? Sure Pete, it's a simple song. Just cha-cha-cha and dance along. Look, they're dancing. Ah! Ouch Pete! You stepped on my toes. That's not how this dance goes. Oops. Pete did not know what to say. He just turned and walked away. He stepped on her toes, what might he have said? Sorry, yeah, I think so too. But dancing is like magic. When I hear a groovy beat, I'm full of happy in my feet. I love to dance, I won't give up. Let me give it one more chance. Pete was still practicing the Cool Cat Boogie when Gus came along. Hey Gus, how do you dance? How do you groove? Can you teach me how to move? Sure Pete, it's a simple song. Just do the robot and dance along. I think Pete looks pretty good. Ouch Pete, you hopped on my nose. Oh my goodness, that is not how this dance goes. Pete did not know what to say. He just turned and walked away. But dancing is like magic. When I hear a groovy beat, I'm full of happy in my feet. I won't give up. I love to dance. Let me give it one more chance. Now, boys and girls, what do you notice about Pete? He's having trouble and what does he do? That's right. He's not giving up. He gives it one more chance. I'm going to teach you a big word that means to not give up, to keep working. That word is perseverance. Can you say that? That's right. Let's see if uh, Cool Cat Pete is going to keep persevering. Pete was still trying to do the Cool Cat Boogie. I think he's still persevering. When Turtle came along. Hey Turtle, how do you dance? How do you groove? Can you teach me how to move? Sure Pete, it's a simple song. Just shake your tail and dance along. Oh no, Pete, you fell. You tripped over my shell. Everybody knows that's not how this dance goes. Pete felt like giving up, boys and girls. But guess what? Wise Owl had been watching all of these mishaps from his tree. Pete, it doesn't matter how you move as long as you are being you. You're right. I never want to miss a chance. When you hear a groovy beat and you feel happy in your feet, 
just dance, dance, dance. Now, did Pete learn a little lesson? I think he did. He learned that even if his dance wasn't exactly like someone else's dance, as long as he was doing his best, that was okay. That was Pete's dance. And so I want you to remember that. You need to try your best always and don't give up. Persevere. You do you. Now I've got a little treat. At the very back of this book is the Cool Cat Boogie. You slide to your right and you shake your tail. You slide to your left and you shake your tail. You clap, clap, clap real smooth and you've got that groove. You jump up front, you rock and roll, you jump right back and rock and roll. And that's when you've got the beat. You know it, you're gonna grab your air guitar and dance like cat, Pete the Cat. So, now we're going to move on and I want you to get, uh, get a chance to express yourself. So we're going to do a directed drawing. All right, boys and girls, you're gonna get a chance to show how you can draw Pete the Cat, what you think Pete the Cat looks like. We're gonna start first with a little mountain top. One on the left hand side and one on the right hand side. Then we're gonna put a line to connect. Are you starting to see? There's his ears. And then we're gonna draw down for his cheeks. And then we're gonna just come just almost to the middle because we want to leave a little room for his body. Just draw his body down. There we go. Now, we're going to, I call it, make a little bird right up at the top. Do you see kind of the little bird? Now we're going to continue making his eye by doing a little upside down bird. Now we need to put circles. Are you starting to see Pete the Cat? We're going to draw another little circle in the middle. The top circle we're going to leave white and that's gonna be his pupil. Now, right here, we're gonna go ahead and darken in. That's going to be his iris. Now, you and I don't typically have black irises. You might have blue, you might have green, you might have brown, hazel, all different shades. But Pete's going to have black irises. Then we're gonna do a little upside down triangle for his nose. Now, I think Pete the Cat is finished. What do you think? You're right, we forgot the whiskers. So you can just draw little wispy whiskers. Make the middle one a little bit longer. The top one a little bit shorter than that. How about that? Then, to finish it off, we're gonna come and we're gonna draw a little tail. And there you have Pete the Cat. Now yours might be bigger than mine. Yours might be smaller than mine. Yours might look exactly like mine. But you know what the most important part is? The most important part is that you created it. Here's my finished Pete the Cat. You can tell I, I kind of messed up a little bit on the top, but you know what, that was okay. I was happy with that because I made this Pete the Cat. In the background, I added something that had to do with me. I added flowers because I've been enjoying uh, going in my garden and picking flowers. So basically, you do you. You make Pete the Cat personal to you. Do your best, don't give up, and remember, persevere.